Hey everyone, it's Bobby Lieber, and welcome to your favorite podcast, The 11th Brick at Stonewall. Because we all know a butch lesbian or a trans woman of color probably threw the first brick at Stonewall, but it was a cis white gay man who threw the 11th brick. And today, as always, I will take you on a journey throughout LGBTQ plus history, and much more importantly, my own problems and whatever I feel like talking about. And this is a big day because as of today, The 11th Brick is celebrating one million subscribers. And in honor of all this exciting news, I am taking your questions live. First question. Hi, Bobby. Any chance for more children's books? Oh, not at the moment, but thank you. As some of you know, I wrote a series of children's books to help parents teach kids about gay history, which no one bought. Turns out a four-year-old didn't want to hear a bedtime story about Martina Navratilova. Hey parents, thanks for teaching your kids about Santa Claus, a straight man that doesn't exist, and not Martina Navratilova, a lesbian who does. In other news, I finally got the footage from my audition to be part of the next cast of Queer Eye, and you can watch that on the app right now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> This is not sad. It's just not sad. You gave him a haircut and a pair of pants. I mean, he looks fine. Not great. Next caller. Whatever happened to that movie you wrote? Oh yeah, the movie. These big movie producers came to me and said, we want you to write a rom-com about a gay couple. Something the whole world would enjoy. Something that a straight guy might even like and watch with his girlfriend. I said, something a straight guy might like? Like what exactly? Am I gonna be in the middle of some high-speed chase and then all of a sudden fall in love with Ice Cube? Am I gonna get by Jason Momoa while we're both, I don't know, worrying about a volcano? And he said, Bobby, we just want to make a movie that shows the world gay and straight relationships are the same. Love is love is love. I said, love is love is love. No, it's not. That's that is a lie we had to make up to convince you idiots to finally treat us fairly. Love is not love. Our relationships are different. Our sex lives are different. And he said, Bobby, we were just trying to make a nice movie about nice gay people. And I said, well, there's your first mistake because not all gay people are nice. And I got up and left. Anyway, it's totally fine. I'm not the right person to write a rom-com anyway. Why not? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm 40 years old. I've never been in love. I've never even had a serious relationship, which is fine. You know, I love my life. I love my freedom. I love my independence, but <laughs> you know, probably means I'm not the right person to write a love story. In exciting news, I remain very horny, and tonight I am being honored at the LGBTQ Plus Pride Awards. Being in the NFL, I never thought I could come out. For years, I had to suffer as a hot, ripped gay person living my life in private. But this last year has really shown me how amazing life can be when you are finally publicly hot. Thank you. And now, please welcome Emmy and Tony Award winner, Kristen Chenoweth. Good evening. What an honor for me to be here tonight. On my head is a hat depicting the Stonewall Riots, where the queer liberation movement began. And now, the award for Cis White Gay Man of the Year. Please welcome Bobby Lieber. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, New York. Thank you. Thank you. Meet Kunam Hotep and Niankanam, the Bert and Ernie of ancient Egypt. Many scholars believe that they are the first recorded same sex couple in history. Yet to this day, there are historians who refuse to believe that these men were lovers and insist that they were brothers instead. Thus began 5,000 years of queer love stories erased from the history books. No gay love stories to teach us about love and how to love each other. Well, I'm happy to say this erasure ends today. And I am thrilled to announce I have accepted a position as the executive director of the first national LGBTQ plus history museum right here in New York City. Thank you, New York. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. What's up? Hey, what's up? Looking into? Bottom here. Versatile. Sure you are. Hey, what's up?